regularly scheduled meeting of the PBCC. Uh, present we have four members, Rod Soak, Jerry Hotcroft, John Krasinski. Was he even close? Yeah, it's close. <laughs> and Ted Callahan, Jim. And Linda Clarkin is the secretary. Okay, so, uh, secretarial in invoice. We'll have to take that one first. Move to approve the secretarial invoice for February 6th, 2020. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We have another invoice. We do have one other invoice. We have an invoice from Northeast Engineering for $850. Um, for a narrative and sketch of St. Gabriel's Chapel ventilation system design. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, I don't know if you were here for that one. Uh, there's a sketch here if you want to see it. Which I believe it. Uh, which, okay, is there a second to that motion? Second. Okay. A little, a couple of words on that. The, uh, we run into this problem where they, the, the, the town, uh, has decided to hold a special event kind of thing in the uh, St. Gabriel Chapel. Right now, you will, what you have in there is an old boiler with equally old uh, ductwork and stuff that uh, is really only expected to work at 45 degrees. Of, you know, uh, so I asked an engineer to come in and look at it in order to, uh, to boost it up so we could get uh, a unit that's probably going to heat the place if they decide to have these uh, uh, events in the, in the winter time. And uh, a couple of things that happened that uh, inadvertently the uh, the only source of outside air for the for the boiler room had been blocked up. Uh, this was some something that was carried over from the motion and the, and the town meeting. I don't know why, but every boiler needs combustion air, as yep. you probably know. So we have to go back in and take that out. No matter what happens, we, we're going to have to do that. But the, uh, without getting into this just yet, I hadn't planned to, but uh, that's what the uh, the motion is about. That this, I asked this gentleman who was recommended by, uh, 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 what's it, who's our architect? Uh, boy, am I having trouble remembering the name? <laughs> uh, His name's on the front. Dale Dale Gina? Dale Dale Gina. Well, Gina, Dale Gina, yeah. He, uh, Mike Neal over there recommended this guy. He's turned out to be a real, real good, good guy. Uh, guy I knew from because he worked at Francis Associates and uh, one or two other places that I'm more than just a little familiar with. Anyway, I would recommend that we pay it uh, for the purpose that it is, and I think that the, uh, the price for his services were reasonable in this case. Are we going to go forward and find out if the? Uh People involved with these venues want to uh, approve extra money to upgrade the. Well, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, that's the whole process. Here. Yeah, we, we've already spent this money, not knowing what we were getting ourselves into. Yeah, but in the course of, uh, let's not go into that. Let, let's get through the the uh, agenda in its proper sure, yeah. form, and then we'll. Uh, okay. Need a vote. Well, Jerry signing at the. Uh, uh, we need a vote. We haven't voted yet. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Second it. You did second it? Yeah. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Sorry, I talked so long. Well. So. An Irish trait. Uh, so, approval of the minutes of uh, January 16th. Move to approve the minutes of January 16th. Uh, uh, seconded. Are you in on that, John? Pardon? You're, you're going to approve that? Yes. Okay. Aye. All I guess all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, Bob didn't get those yet. There you go. Get a sign. All right, now the next one is update on the town hall elevator. Or, uh, all I can tell you is that the drawings have been stamped, and as far as I know, they've been delivered to Cat. I have no more information on that. Okay, update on the chapel project. Now this gets us to, uh, all right, why don't I just send this around. I brought along the original drawings that uh, ENAP did on the chapel. Yeah, I don't, okay. Oh, 
shows the heating unit and the uh, vent coming in. That's the heating. This is the vent coming in, I think. Mm -hmm. In the chimney. I mean, you can not. Outside, yeah, yeah. yeah. In the fireplace. Oh, is that the exhaust out rather than the rear in? Yeah. That's the exhaust out. I don't know. Oh, I thought yeah. that was the makeup. I'm here. gonna, I'm gonna, are you, I'm yeah. gonna circulate the, uh, the thing that this guy did for us. He shows that I thought it was the makeup here, but it might be exhaust out. <laughs> okay, there are, there are three drawings here and a, and a letter. Oh, good. So. Three documents. So you've already seen it, right? Sure, you've I, seen I got it? a copy of the one that shows what he wants to do for the Yeah, well, that's the same as that. Yeah, and, and I don't think I don't think John's seen it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, he's going to put a fan in there. To yeah, John. What essentially we're talking about here is uh, if you can come over here a minute. Down in the uh, basement. This being the basement. Yeah. This is the original plan, right here is an area way that uh, was open. There was a window here and, and they had yeah. some oil tanks or something. And there's the boiler over there. Well, in the course of the work, that window opening was blocked up. Mm -hmm. So there's no other way of getting any kind of combustion air into it, let alone deliver it to the, right. to the, to the furnace. So that's what this uh, thing is all about. Uh, it's, it's for the duct work and whatever kind of associated equipment they're going to attach to the that's building, that's that's right. like, like filter stuff. So if you look it over, you can see it. Okay. It's pretty concise. Okay. Okay. This shows the here about the existing fire. Oh, there it is, yeah. That's the exhaust this way. This is the existing one. Okay. This is the new one you get All to get right. Uh, that's exhaust, huh? No, this is the one that's there. The existing oh. flue. Okay. That's the exhaust. And the fan is over here. <coughs> yeah, the new one. Yeah. Well, I was kind of hoping that uh, Joe would come. He, Joe said he had another meeting tonight. Uh, he may not make it. Is that the same thing that I had from November 25th? Uh, uh, yes, no, it is. I don't think so either. Yes, it is, yeah. November 25th. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't realize it was that long ago. Yeah. So we proposed this, so we're going to actually do it. Uh, well, that's what we want to talk about. Uh, I've even gone so far as to get a, a quote from a. a uh, the contractor who's uh, familiar with work in Norwood, he apparently he's, he's, I didn't know this at the time I contacted him, but he does uh, uh, preventative maintenance kind of stuff. He changes yeah. out machines, fans, and stuff like that, but he's never reached a $10,000 <laughs> level <laughs> no. doing the work. Yeah. So that's kind of kept it all in his ballpark. Yeah. Not, not, not that, that that's a bad thing. I mean, he's, he's a, a very good, reliable person. But the trouble is that, uh, and I had hoped to keep the price of this thing under 10000 I even, I even think I said that. I wish I hadn't, but I think I did. Anyway, uh, in, in, uh, as a reality check, I brought it to the attention of, a, of the same guy down in uh, where I am. Uh, so what's he, a sheet metal contractor? Yeah, he yeah. is. It's automatic temperature control, but he, does, he also acts as GC, so he brings in the... Uh, the control guys, the, yeah. the fan guys, and all that stuff. He tells me it's going to be twenty two thousand dollars. So twenty two. Twenty two thousand, which is probably going to be a choker for the CPC. Well, uh, so, so I'm looking for. Uh, I'm, I'm beginning to think that uh, we may have to try something else. Uh, well, why? I'm sure there's money in the project. Well, let me let me just. Yeah. Just, you guys may not be aware of this, but uh, I certainly wasn't. But the original motion at the town meeting, there was some uh, verbiage in the material that Joe Greeley gave me that said that, among other things, that the thing should be able to support uh, special events. And it does, you know, so I'm assuming that was 20, 12 months a year available right. ability for the place to be special events. 
So naturally you're gonna need a, at least a boiler. At one time, in looking at the ash race uh, numbers, I think that uh, we, we, we could also have used a, uh, an air system to move the uh, fresh air around in there, but that might be just over the top. But that, you can say in what the uh, motion in the town meeting was that, uh, but that was understood because they don't say it's going to for heat. Or it, it, it could be if you're going to make it comfortable to have people in there in the winter time. Yeah. You got to make them comfortable in the summertime. I mean, there's no there's no difference between the yeah. two things. Okay. okay. But even but if we go that route, we're going to be looking at some six figure numbers at yeah. this point. Yeah. 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 So the problem is uh, we've got to we got to reinstate the uh, area work. There's no question about that. And, uh, and we looked at it, and it's not going to really be a big deal, but they, in talking to the director up there, uh, Paul? Mm -hmm. Paul? Yeah, Paul Rinaldi. He, uh, he says he's got enough granite and stuff to build a kind of a box to which, you know, we would dig out some of the, uh, the earth and allow our exposure to that former uh, window opening and put a nice uh, louver in there. And um, but it would have to be bigger than the one that's in there. I mean, it should have always been bigger than it was. It wasn't big enough. The other thing is that we may have to, uh, because in, in exploring around, we found out that the air is actually going up the chimney in the, in the old ash pit in the boiler room. Yeah. yeah. And it comes up, it goes over the fireplace, takes a right turn, heads over toward the chantry, then goes up as a as a sister. Uh, shaft to, to the one out of the fireplace in the chantry. So we know that the air's moving there. And then plus, uh, I got the, I found out through pictures and stuff that there's a pair of uh, openings in the roof in the lantern directly out supporting these chimneys. So that obviously has got, we, we got built in ductwork. Yeah. And what we're going to do is clean it up. So, uh, I mean, you know, it sounds wonderful. You have all these things, but it's still going to cost money to do it. Yeah, right. So uh, the one thing I'm, I'm focused on is is at least getting the uh, combustion air back in for the boiler. And the other thing we might have to do is to put a, an operable louver in the door that's coming into the nave at the spiral stair. Yeah. Because that allow that allow the air to come up, so you want the air to start circulating. So what's coming back is going up the, the chimney. As you know, it's coming up to a hole in the floor. So I don't know. I don't know if gonna, anybody's going to buy into this, but because I was hoping Joe would be here and uh, say whether we could do it for the twenty-two thousand, but that means we have to put it on the street. Yeah. According to Kathy, it's, if it's over ten thousand. It yeah. goes on the street. Yeah. Used to be 25, you know, and oh, is that right? and five or six years ago. Anyway, uh, that's where we are. So I would assume if you got to put it out on the street, you got to put together some drawings. Yeah. No, this is it. Oh, you got it. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, that's why you're paying 850 bucks yeah. for, the, for this. And uh, this guy it says he would be ready to supervise and do whatever is expected of an architect or an engineer. Well, do we have authority to uh, put something out on the street? No. Hmm. I don't know. CPC is getting very testy on, on how, much, the money. how much money is left. Yeah. And I, although he accepts the fact that the motion, as, as stated in, 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 the, in the articles, clearly states it has to be made such that you can have these events. In this winter time. Well, it, it stands to reason that yeah. there's no, uh, near as I can tell from what I read, that uh, there's no time time frame on it at all. Yeah, yeah. So if you're going to have that, even Joe says, yeah, we, we got to do that. And I said, fine, but uh, at that time we were looking for half of what, the, what it looks like it would cost. So uh, I guess I've got to tell, I'll talk to Joe tomorrow and find yeah. out. Uh, apparently not, in all, fa all fairness to Joe, I think his committee's kind of looking around to spend money on various other projects and yeah, right. wondering yeah. what they're... Uh, He's got everyone knocking on his door <laughs> yeah. for their yeah. project. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't want his job. That's, yeah. So uh, that's all I have. If anybody has any questions or suggestions or...
or anything like that. Well, you're going to talk to Joe, and then what's the next step to put together a set of documents? And no, those are the documents. Okay, and we have to send that out on the street as a public job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have to give it all to Gobley Cook and you know, yeah. the request for proposals and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So we have in other to words, there's a whole we have to go through Kathy to get what's, requests from What's the call. cutoff by uh, which we can use three quotes? The, the, under 25000 All right, so it looks like we think it'll be under 25000 right? Yeah. So we can go out with only three quotes without having to go to a general. Yeah, I, 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 I thought of that, yeah. Okay. I, uh, I have to look to Kathy to help us through that, but as I recall, that, that number was 25000 That's what I was thinking, too. Yeah. So if we can do it with just three quotes rather than general bidding, it'll expedite things and also get us a better number. Right, Quicker. Well, yeah, that's just one, one hurdle we got to get over. The other one is to, to get them to, before we get to that hurdle, we got to get out of the starting blocks with the guys at the CPC. And, uh, because well, already we, they're a little... Uh, if we haven't closed the project, uh, it seems to me the money is still, no, I know we, we have, still is for us to, to expend. On the project, so we, we get to, to decide get, how to spend it. Just have to get their blessing <laughs> to do it. Huh? <laughs> you haven't talked to Joe. <laughs> Joe's. I mean, you know, it's it's hard to talk about these things when you're talking about another committee. But the, you know, they got the same kind of situation. We uh, we try to save the town money, and that's what they're trying to do. The problem here is that it wasn't us who decided to make this building open for these events. And I, frankly, I, I welcome that because it's another place where people can go to, and, and by God, the, the building turned out very well. The, the, the sun coming in there on a sunny day is just almost breathtaking. And I think it's a great uh, place to have those kinds of things, but we can't have it if we can't fix it. So, I mean, apparently the, the, the fact, and I only say this once, but the fact that 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 particular uh, task was not on, not understood by the architect. It's, nobody's ever made any attempt to, to, to fix this. Yeah. The boiler can run at 45 degrees, there's no question about that. But once you start pumping uh, 70 degree air on a, on a zero day, you're, you know, I don't know if it can even handle it. So I, I don't know. I mean, all this does is, the, the, the uh, system we're talking about here, all it does is filter the air in before it gets into the boiler. And then the, the air will coming out and into the, it's just regurgitated up the top and goes through that big hole on the floor. That's, that's the whole heating system. So what's the capacity of the boiler? Huh? How many BTUs is it? I don't know. That's a Bill, Bill Kinsman question. He actually knew. Okay. That, yeah. uh, I mean, I can find out if that's going to be a big... Well, Bill, Bill, Bill was happy with the capacity of the boiler. Okay. Yeah. 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 He, and, he and Bill uh, O'Connor. Oh, sure, yeah. You know, those two guys, are, they talked that talk and walked that walk. So. Yeah. Anyway, uh, okay. Uh, that's that one. I'm sad to say that uh, Joe's not here. Update on high school roof. There isn't any. No. It hasn't leaked. Huh? I don't know whether it's leaked or anything. I have not heard anything. And... Uh, Oh, no, uh, what the heck is his Ricardi? Huh? Ricardi, yeah. yeah. He, uh, he uh, talked to him over the phone. He, he says, yeah, they fixed it. They, they, uh, they paid for it and all this kind of stuff. And, but the last thing he said to me was that, uh, in addition to that, he said, we're going to get another uh, infrared scope in the roof. Who was paying for that? Uh, that was, there was a, a group that they, they contracted with to, to do that work. Oh. And you, I think you saw the the, uh, the the drawings that came out of that. It was just covered with leaves, every place that you could look. According to the guy who did it, who happens to be the same guy that wants the job to fix it. <laughs> so uh, anyway, okay, all our new business. Do we put you to sleep yet? Let you. <laughs> Move to adjourn. Second. Anybody? Move to adjourn. You got second. something you want to say? I'll second it, yeah. Okay.